It's a power hour of persona, Tristan. It is. All right? We're doing more persona. We're talking about hope you're happy. Persona. I'm not happy. I summon those guys. <laughs> Wait. So, so are you the summoner and I'm the persona, or are you the or are you the summoner? Oh, fuck. Let's see. just write. Look, whoever writes the fan fiction will let them deal with it. The point is this. All right. The point is, <laughs> is that Persona Q2 is coming out in the U.S. We've already talked about this before on the channel on Kick Out the yep. Corner, but we have another trailer. The trailer has a lot of English um, sub, you know, a lot of English in it in general, English text. But guess what, Tristan? Just like I was talking to you about last in the last article about uh, Persona yeah. 5 Scramble, this isn't mm-hmm. getting English dubbed. Hmm. So... Uh, let me see. Did the last one get it? That's actually no, fair. If they've, if they've set that precedent with the Persona Q, Persona fuck it. If they have. Yeah. Um, as you're looking that up, I was thinking, the reason why I was making this argument, I didn't want to like have it bleed into this too much, but the reason why I was making that argument when we were talking about Persona 5, the scramble, will it get, or, and even with the Royal, will it get uh, re, you know, dubbed in English or not? I know it's going to be released in English, at least Persona the Ro- 5, the Royal is, but will uh, scramble get dubbed and will the Royal get dubbed is because – the 3DS is definitely towards the end of its life cycle. I believe Nintendo may have already moved it to alumni, to the alumni section, I believe, on their website. So My 3DS, it's, it's getting there because, of course, the Switch is very popular as both a, um, you know, as both a, a, an, in docked as a portable, co- as a physical home console and, of course, as a handheld, undocked. So... You know, you, you have to sit back and think, is this maybe a cost-cutting measure? Because, you know, they don't know how well it's going to sell. But question, though, Tristan, like you were just looking up, did Persona Q get an English dub? Because if it didn't, all right, that's fair. Huh, no, actually thinking. I mean, I have the first one. Yeah, it's definitely in English. That's odd. Huh. That is so, odd. I'm wondering if Q didn't – maybe maybe if we you look at it from a different angle, maybe Q didn't sell as well. So they're like, hey, we'll release Probably. it because people – we'll release it so you know people can feel satisfied. We don't feel comfortable not releasing it because people are going to be asking us all over social media, why don't you release it? Why don't you release it? Why don't you release it? But we know it's not going to yeah. make enough money to justify an entire English dub. It's yeah. sad. It's sad, but I mean, I, I guess I get it. Tristan, what are your thoughts with A, no English dub, and also B, what are your thoughts of the trailer itself? Because you obviously know Persona more than I do, so you understand all of the nuances and fun references. So yeah, so what's, what are your thoughts on A, no dub, and B, the trailer itself? Ah, okay. This is, I see. Because Persona Q was announced in 2013 alongside Persona 5, Persona 4 Dancing All Night, and the Persona 3 port of Persona 4. Uh, wow, the PlayStation 3 port. Fuck, there's too many numbers here. PlayStation 3 port of Persona 4 Arena Ultimate. Uh, the game was released in Japan on June 5th in 2014. And then we got it later. Yeah, in February 2014, Atlas announced the game would see an English release in the second half of 2014. Okay. But what does it have to do with what we were saying? No, I'm I'm saying for Persona Q2 and why it wouldn't have an English. Because it seems like Q may have not have gotten an English at first either. And then they came back with one. Anyway, okay. Wait, um, what? What do you? What do you mean? Didn't get in English at first? They did two releases of Q in the U.S. Is what you're saying, or? Nothing else. Game of Thrones release. Because uh, I'm looking through it. Okay. No, but I, I'll look through it, and I'm asking you, what are your thoughts on this not getting a dub? And also, what are your thoughts on the trailer and all of the fun little, you know, cameos and stuff like that? Yes. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, for me, it's not really. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Deal breaker. 
I, I don't, I don't, yeah, it's not a deal breaker for me if there's not a dub. That's just me personally. Yeah. Um, and as like from the trailer, I mean, I'm, it's interesting because I liked what they did with Persona Q because it was basically, it's not canon to the storyline in the sense that they forget the events that happen, kind of like what they've been doing with the, the rhythm games as well. It's like okay. it only occurs for like one day, and they don't remember the events that take place. But oh, it's all of the, Doctor Who. It's all of the characters coming together for a little fun one-off, and then returning to their own, you know, worlds basically. Or yeah, but I'm saying it's, it's like Doctor yeah. Who. Yeah, yeah. Like all the doctors cross over, and then they don't remember when they get back to their right. or normal timelines. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, so I really liked the concept and the interactions between all the characters are hilarious. So it is a wonderfully, you know, cute little experience. And it's, you know, cool to see now that five will also get into the mix. Um, and, you know, it's nice to see that, well, it's funny because people, I, I love the jokes of, you know, Oh, five is now getting introduced to, you know, the characters from four and three. And then there's just always like the, the two main characters from Persona 2 and Persona 1 just looking at each other, like, drinking, like, we're never going to get, we're never going to get our shot, are we? Yeah. (laughs) Which is sad. sad. Yeah, it is. Um, Because I actually have played a little bit of 2, and I do, I do like the characters from 2 as well. Um, I'd like to give 1 a shot. I have not played 1. I Um, played, like, 5 minutes of 1, because it was on the, um, (laughs) It was on the um, oh, right. PS1 Classic right? that our very own Satish Ram lent me for the channel. Right. So uh, for the, you know, those guys play channel. So I played five minutes of it and I was like, I'm lost. And it's like, sir, you're in the city. I'm lost. Right. Sir, you're at school. I <laughs> was just extremely, I was extremely lost. Right. Oh, but the biggest thing for me for this one is because we finally all like for characters, you know, crying and not being included. The female main protagonist from Persona Three Portable was added to this one, which thank you. Thank you, Atlas. You listened. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, can because, you yeah. explain that to me one more time? So A character from Persona re- Three. Yes. When they remade uh they made a port it was a it's a remake and a port. For PSP. Persona 3 for the PSP. So they called it Persona right. 3 Portable. Got it. Um, and you had the choice of, you know, basically like in Pokemon, you can choose, you know, a male or female main protagonist. But in this one, in Persona 3, you, you know, you do that. Uh, but it also changes the social links that you can, uh, some of them, that you can have. So there were new social links added for that character. And, you know, she basically had her own personality and feeling to it. And, it was, you know, it was nice. It was nice to be able to choose, you know, a female lead. So I'm glad that she's also appearing in this, too, because she is her own character. Yes. And I, th- I think we talked about her appearing in the last trailer and how happy you were, yeah. I thought. Yeah. By the way, so, yes, Tristan, you are correct. The... um the original Persona Q game did get an English dub when it was brought over to the U.S., but yeah, it seems as if for some reason this one, while being brought over to the U.S., as of this point, we we hear that it is only going to have a Japanese voice track with English subtitles. So unless they spring something up on us randomly, as of right now we know that it's coming out June 4th in the United States and Europe with all that English text that we saw in the trailer. So there is English text. You know, it's not like it's... Because the thing that I hate the most about certain subtitled games is that characters are talking, and then there's no text to support what they're saying. It's not like during story mode, of course, which, yes, he's uh, showing story mode, but, like, a character might be like, oh, yes, pick this mode, and this mode will be this. And, like, you'll know that the mode is the way it is because the menu is text is translated, but the character is just talking, and you're like, are they saying things that I should know because it's Japanese? Uh, I don't know Japanese. Yes, that happens a lot. Sadly, uh, that happened even though it was a terrible game all around. I'm sorry, terrible localization all around when you and I played the the European version of Budokai 
they did that. Right. Where like you would have the the dude announcing the world tournament stuff, and I'm like, if I didn't know about the American version of you know Budokai on the PS2, I'd be like, what the fuck is he saying? Right. Yeah. And then even with the recent My Hero Academia game on the Switch or uh, PS4 as well, but I have it on the Switch, it's um it's it's no dub, so it's in Japanese with subs, and you'll have some of the teachers saying stuff to you. And not like in a practice mode, but like just again, just like, oh, you picked this, but blah 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 blah. And I'm like, I don't know Japanese and there's no text for him. I don't right. I don't understand. So yeah. it's it's very frustrating. Now I get you can't pay for the dub, especially in I mean the Switch and PS four for My Hero Academia, that one's very odd. That show's fucking popular. So I don't know what the hell Bondi Namco was doing there. But Right. When it comes to Persona, while well, Persona is obviously very popular, don't kill me online. Again, we right. are moving towards the end of the 3DS's life cycle, and I'm wondering if they're thinking, or we're already there for some people. So I feel like they're thinking, are we going to really release this in late 2020, 2021, or can we get this out in June? Right. And I think maybe that was their that was their thing, like. Even though the 3DS is not, uh, it is region locked, so it's not like you can buy the Japanese version unless you have a Japanese 3DS. So it's not like they were worried about people getting the Japanese version first and foremost, in my opinion. I don't think that's why, but I think it's just any company. I mean, dude, there are so many games back in the day that we didn't get, putting aside the fact that some of them were anime or whatever, or, you know, had like devil in the name, you know, digital devil. Um, still, what? there were situations where we just didn't get games because it was like, uh, the Super Nintendo's here. Why is this company going to focus on making cartridges for an NES when the Super Nintendo is here? You know, like it's gotten a bit more. It's gotten a bit more. Uh, the the climate has gotten. It's changed a little bit where it's more uh, acceptable to have you know more than one system, but still like you know or have like your handheld and your main console. But there still are a fair amount of people who said, "Oh, the Switch is my handheld now. Goodbye 3DS," and this happened like a year ago. Huh. Not me and yeah. you, but we're not the only right. people out there. So, you know, there are a fair oh, amount yeah, of people who really, yeah, so who are just like, buy 3DS. So I'm wondering if they're like, let's just put this out for anyone who still has a 3DS and then say goodbye 3DS. Because I assume if there's going to be any other Persona Q, the third one would be on the Switch in a few years. Right. They're not making a third Persona Q for the 3DS. Yeah, no, obviously. Yeah. So I'm assuming they're going to go for Switch. Um, I don't think this is another handheld right now. They put it out on the Vita. Those sly, sly bastards. <laughs> you still got your Vita, huh? Or did you sell that like you sold your 3DS? They make it. They make it purely out of spite. Oh God. Uh, In a few, laugh, a few years well, later. Terrible, but I would also laugh so hard. No, no, no. The Vita one, I would be mad at. You know what would make me laugh? Persona Q4, Sega Game Gear. You still got that, you punks? Huh? Huh? <laughs> I'd buy that <laughs> shit for the. I would. I would buy it for the well, Game Gear in a heartbeat. My gosh. I'd have to get my Game Gear again because the old one, uh, the screen got fucked up. But I would buy a Game Gear to get Persona Q4 on the Game Gear. You have any idea how happy I would be? It would be so dumb. They're just going to skip the third and go straight to four and put it on the Game Gear. And it's funny, too, because remember, Atlas is owned by Sega. Oh, my God. Um, anyway. Uh, so, yeah. So, I, either way, though. Are you – yeah, so this isn't a deal-breaker for you. So you're not de-hyped in any way with there not being any English dub. You don't care. You're like, oh, well. No. Okay. Yeah, so, I, mean, you know, I, thought, be nice. I wouldn't – you know, I wouldn't be dissatisfied if there was one, but it's, it's not going to kill it for me that there isn't one. Yeah, I think no English dub will affect sales, but not a lot. Like, I don't think yeah. t- a ton of people aren't going to buy it. I think certain amount of people are going to be like, hey, man, it's Persona. I like Persona. Yeah. Maybe they like the English dub option more, but they're like, but I like Persona. I feel like this one's, I mean, I feel like this one's kind of already a little more niche anyway because of its um, crossover. 
because of the dungeon crawling with it. No, like the crow, it's funny I say dungeon crawling because <laughs> the main lines don't do dungeon crawling. What are you talking about? I, yes, they do. Um, but this right. one has a different style. It has the Atrian Odyssey type. Like, you basically create the map as you go along, which I really mm. love the mechanics for it. Um, but it is a slightly different dungeon crawling experience. So, Yeah. I'm going to make a prediction. And um, I'm not saying this because I want people to manipulate the market. So please don't be a piece of shit. But I'm telling you this, yeah. the listener, because I really want to help you out, especially if you're a fan of Persona. Even if the dub doesn't, like they're not being a dub, makes you feel wary, buy the game. Here's why. Like I've been saying over and over, we're at the end of the 3DS's life cycle. This is, they're probably, like you said, um, you know, this is a bit more niche in general. And they're also, in my opinion, you know, not putting out the dub because they want to get it out quicker. Because, again, they know that maybe sales will be impacted because of things like the Switch and other you know, consoles coming out within the next two years. So what does that mean? That means that if you ever feel like you want to get into this in the future, good luck paying a lot more money than you'd ever like to. So me, yeah. someone who does not know anything about Persona – like a first hand. Like I know, you know, different uh I've read different stuff about it. I know some of the story here and there. I know some of the voice actors. You know, I know about it through Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. You know, I you and I have talked about Persona five a bit here and there. Also some random little side news just chunked uh, just thrown in a little, little tiny bit. Apparently I think it's Viz. They announced that they're actually um releasing the manga for Persona five in the US. Right, yeah. Yep. Uh, we can we couldn't mention that because we had to take a you know a break last week. But still, point being is that is you know Persona is popular, yes. But you know, and I know about it, yes. But what I can definitely tell you is is that from what I've seen, just from you know people talking about, oh, this game you know is quote unquote rare, uh, just because it was a you know a good game that didn't um, sell a lot, and potentially again just adding on to it the fact that it's near the end of the 3DS's life cycle, and I know, a little put, put a dollar in the jar for every time I say the phrase life cycle, but I would suggest buying this game. I'm not saying it should be expensive. That's why I'm you know, telling people don't be a dick about it, right? But, and don't be like, oh my God, is it going to be crazy money? Don't do that. I'm just saying that if this game doesn't sell well, I don't know if Atlas is going to pull – Atlas should pull – and many companies, by the way, Tristan, should pull a Natsume, which I think we've talked about this. Natsume actually takes some of their old um, stock that's sealed and just puts it up online and sells it on their website. So every now and again, oh. they're like, you know what? Here's Harvest Moon on the N64 sealed. Here you go. Right. Which, yes, it still kind of goes up in price because it's sealed and it's a, you know, I, I believe at this point it's a 20 year old game. But still, yeah. it's still nice that they're looking at their stock and they're like, we have warehouses filled with shit that didn't sell. Why are we just keeping this? Right. So, but I don't think Atlas is going to do that. So they might, I don't know how many copies they're going to buy for themselves to, you know, to put out. But I have a feeling that they might not all sell. So I would suggest getting your copy now before going, I want to buy that in five years, and then it's like 100 bucks or 150 bucks. It's stupid money. So I, I would just suggest right now, you know, if you want it, buy it. Or if you think you ever might want it, just get it. I'm even going to probably get it. And again, I don't have the first one. So I just know that one day I'm going to want to play it. And I right. don't want to play. I don't want to pay stupid money for something that came out five years prior when I fucking talked about it on the podcast. Right. Yeah. Right. Now, do we know how much this is going to be? Because the special edition looked amazing, but I don't think that one's coming to the U.S. So, is this going to be a forty dollar game or a fifty dollar uh, no. game? No. What was the? F- yeah. No. What was the, the f- there's there's a release. There's actually three. Uh, well, two editions. Um. There's a, there's the special puppy edition. Yes, the Showtime Premium Edition, which comes with a Koromaru plush, and that's the character from Persona Three. And honestly, right. that's I really seventy bucks, want, right? Yes, I want All right, that edition. But like, oh, then I let's don't... split it. 
<laughs> we'll talk about this later. Yes, we will. <laughs> You'll never see it coming. Oh, God. You'll laugh so oh. proud. Um, Basically. My God. And your next line will be, oh, shit. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, could, I could swear we talked about that last time we mentioned the premium edition. I was like, yeah, I would get that. I thought we mentioned splitting it, and then we laughed, and then we moved on. Uh, anyway, right. look, Tristan, putting that aside, yeah. there's this, there, there is the Showtime yeah. Puppy edition, which is 70, but that's, the, that's also available in the, in the uh, U.S. as well? Yes. Oh, well, that's awesome. So, second uh, question: the normal edition is what forty? Uh, something like that. Let me. Yeah, because it would be really odd if they're like, without all those thrills and frills, it's sixty bucks. I'd be like, what? That I'll just pay ten more dollars for a fucking dog plushie? That's amazing. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's forty by itself. Okay, so yeah, and I know like you were you were probably cringing inside when I said that the game would be a hundred bucks or a hundred and fifty bucks, but you know if in the future. But like you and I have seen some weird shit in the yeah. past. So like yeah. even though it should, even though it's forty, and it should hopefully stay forty or at least maybe go up to like sixty in the next five years. If it does go up a little bit by like you know resellers or whatever, still like the second people start being like, wait a minute, hold on, but now I want this game, but oh my god, I can't get it, oh my god, I I want the game, I need the game, and 3DS emulation isn't the easiest, so I I, I need the game, I want the game, oh my god, and then all of a sudden, people are just buying the game, you know, more and more and more, and increasing the price, so again, like I said earlier, I know it's like a broken record, I would suggest buying it for 40. Don't get the special edition unless you want it. See, Tristan really wants a special edition, so he would treat that plushie like another one of his cats. So, like, that's why I would help him out, because he would really enjoy it. That's different than, like, don't sit back and think, the special edition is going to be worth something, because it's not. Because, uh, help yeah. me out here, Tristan. The special edition, they didn't say there's only a finite amount, right? There's just the special edition. Uh, I think the special edition Edition, you have to order it by a certain point. But which yes. I'm actually looking at. But yeah, <laughs> is it too late? No, but um, but I'm my thing is actually making sure. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, give me your goddamn fucking routing number right now. Tristan, please stop yelling. Um, no, but Tristan, uh, what I'm saying is, is that you have to order it by a certain date. Yes, but that still doesn't mean that one million people can't buy the special edition because at 70 that is a steal right yeah no no because um, that matters because if someone says right. there are only 5,000 of these all right then you could argue that there is some sort of significance and some sort of value to that however right. there are there are <laughs> some situations i believe it was halo 1 or halo 2 the special edition is cheaper than the original edition because right. there was there wasn't a there wasn't a uh, a specified amount, so I think millions of people just thought, let me buy the special edition. I think it came with like a steel book. So then that one became less rare than the original. I'm oh, sorry. Right. Uh, yes, less rare because the original people didn't buy it as much. Funnily enough, so it sounds crazy, but like you have to be careful. Like so, I'm telling people out there. I'm giving you guys some advice. Buy it, definitely, but don't feel like you need to buy the special edition because then you also have all this extra stuff that you may need to sell one day. I'm giving people advice as we're doing this, Tristan. I want to help, help out the people. Thanks. Um. Anyway, anything you want to say about this, about the trailer itself specifically, not just the game as a whole, before we wrap this one up? Yeah, no, the trailer was cool because you just see the main characters like – you know, um, five and four running into each other, basically at sword and gunpoint. Um, you get to see MCs. three. You know, the two. Uh, by the way, MCs have voice actors now. Yeah, I know, right? It's weird. <laughs> they did. Did they have it in queue or? Uh yes, yes they did. Um, oh okay. I think it was Johnny Young Bosch who did the. 
Well, I mean, he's contractually the, obligated to be in everything. I know, but he's he's the uh, MC from Four, I believe. Mm. Which oh was yeah, weird I remember that. Me wasn't he? Wasn't he I'm in the anime? Sure he, yes, I believe. Uh, I can't remember exactly how it went in the first. Like in the first iteration of the game, he was the villain, and then hearing him as the main character, my brain is just like, "What? What is going on?" <laughs> right, right. So anyway, so so yeah, so you enjoy the character interactions as anyone would if they know these characters well enough. So oh, yeah. for you, yeah. yeah. So you're you're hooked on that alone. Yeah, basically. Um, that's nice. I still need to finish the first one. <laughs> I have it. But. I mean, that's fair. So, yeah, so it's fine. Once you're done with it, it's funny. Once you're done with it, I, w- I would want to say let me borrow it, but I don't know enough about the other games. I might as well borrow the other games from you before actually, you know, yeah. like playing Q. He just looks like a lot yeah, of fun. Basically. I don't know how Q's, I feel about yeah. the – yeah. I don't know how you I know, feel it's about the – on its own, but, like, yeah, if you're not there for the crossover, it's kind of like, bro, what are you, what are you doing here? <laughs> Exactly. So, either way, though, I want to hear what you guys think about all this stuff down below. Are you are you happy with no English dub? Is that going to impact your you know your your feelings on it, like whether or not you want to buy it or not? Um, and, and again, how do you guys feel about the you know not just no English dub, but how do you feel about uh, like it, about this game selling? Do you think that maybe it does have something to do with the fact that we're you know we're at this point with the 3DS and that the Switch has been out for a while? And do you think maybe they'll even treat another Persona Q game because I think that they will um, but I think that it might take a while because you're going to need yeah. to have some new characters to cross over and it seems like right. as of this point I don't know if they would create a third one on the Switch with just these new characters from Royal and Scramble I don't think they're going to do it so I feel like you'd have to have yeah. a Persona 6 which hey that could happen yeah. within the next five years and then you'd get a Q coming out around the same time for the Switch let's right. say yeah. So, either way, tell me what you guys think about all of that stuff and some of our predictions and some of your own predictions down in the comment section down below. 